This podcast is brought to you by KimPower, the reliable, quick, and scalable EV charging solutions for everyone and everywhere. And StarCharge, the largest EV charging manufacturer in the world and is also a provider of residential and commercial battery storage. This episode is also made possible by the support we get from Fort Collins Kia. If you are in the market for any electric Kia, not only do they never add market adjustments, they will deliver your car to you anywhere in the 48 contiguous states for out of spec viewers. More information in the link in the show notes. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Out of Spec Podcast. I'm your host, Francie. Thank you for plugging in with me today for another electric episode where we're going to talk about, well, leases. EVs, if you've ever talked about them, thought about them, read an article about them, you've discussed, thought about, read about the price of EVs. This is a hot topic of conversation, of course, because they tend to be more premium priced. We're really looking forward to how automakers are going to be able to make these more affordable so that more people can adopt EVs into their lifestyle. Of course, there's been really competitive pricing from automakers like Tesla when it comes to just buying it outright, getting it financed, but also leasing. And Leasing is a really effective way to get someone in the door of your dealership, get someone on your website, get someone thinking, hey, I might have not even really considered going electric quite yet, especially because of the pricing or whatever, but this competitive lease deal, that is piquing my interest. And today we're talking about Hyundai, Kia, who have been really, you know, the Hyundai, Kia group in general have been really competitive with their EV offerings. But today, Hyundai is offering a relatively secretive lease for the Ionic 6 SE model year 2024. And we're going to talk about that. Of course, I have a company car that is a three-year lease for the VinFast VF8. It was advertised as $0 down for $250 a month. That is a great deal. That is something that if you see it on Facebook, if you see it in the newspaper, it will bring you into the dealership. We saw that firsthand. People who hadn't heard of VinFast, who haven't gone electric, that said three years for this deal? Sure, I'll try a new car. I'll try an electric vehicle. Let's do it. Let's at least go to the dealership and learn more. Really effective way of getting people to think maybe I could go electric or let me at least try it for a limited amount of time. Cars Direct reported on a relatively secret lease offering on the 2024 Hyundai Ioniq 6 EV. So, and it's the SE trim. I am bringing this up from Cars Direct. This article is written by Alex Bernstein and thank y'all so much. He is a senior pricing analyst analyst with the Cars Direct organization. And so, you know, they thought maybe this is a typo. This is a really great EV. How could it be available at this incredible rate of $239 per month with no money down. They also looked into, you know, if this is true, if it was a typo, and they said that a Hyundai spokesperson, Miles Johnson, said that it is not a typo. This is real, and it's available until April 1st, 2024. That is not very far away from when this podcast is going live. So if you're interested in this, move quickly. Make sure that your dealership is offering this program and that if you're really interested, you get there and you take advantage of it. Of course, we haven't. When I went to the the page for the for Hyundai Ionic Six, I didn't see it jump out at me. You know, zero dollars down or anything. So it does seem to be a little bit hush hush. They have other offers up there that we will look at as well. But this is pretty cool. Cars Direct went on to analyze. Okay, how does this offer compare to what other offers are out there? And they found that this is the cheapest car to lease in America right now, at least until April 1st. They looked at over 540 incentives that are offered right now. So that is really incredible. They looked at even, of course, internal combustion engine cars. This is the cheapest car to lease hands down in America right now. That is incredible. So let's take a look at what Ionic is, or Hyundai is showing on their own website for the 2024 Ionic 6 SE, which is what this offer is for. It has a starting MSRP of $42,450. You can finance it, lease it, lease it, or of course, pay in cash. They have three trims, the SE, SEL, and the Limited. And prices go up in that order. So we can see here the SE advertised online here is $239 per month. That is what we're seeing with this offer. It's a 24-month lease and it includes this 7,500 EV lease bonus. That is 
to, you know, it's exactly the number that you would get if the tax incentives for the EV were available to you, both halves from the critical materials and the battery components. So if you look further into this disclaimer, it does say that there is 239 due at least signing. That to me doesn't seem like that much down really. But if we go to the SEL and you show disclaimer a little bit more, they're asking for again the the amount, it's like, you know, the same amount of the lease, $349 per month for the SEL at, t at time of signing, and that this offer ends on April 1st. All of these offers that are on here end on April 1st. So I do believe that these are very similar to the offer that we're talking about today. And then, of course, for the limited, it's $458 per month for 24 months, and you get a signing bonus of $7,500 ending on April 1st. These are some pretty great deals. I mean, even uh, $458 a month, I mean, that could be a really competitive offering for someone. The MSRP for that trim is over $50,000. Doesn't seem like the worst option ever. So are you interested in this? I would be so interested to see if y'all are ready to hop on this because this is also, you have to make a quick decision by the end of the month of March, 2024. Some people might've been waiting for this kind of, Thing to spur them and their family to adopt an EV. Maybe they're ready to add a second one, whatever it might be. Of course, I was curious to look at the Ionic 5 too. So let's just look at that really quick. If you're tuning in on YouTube, you can see what I'm pulling up on the screen. And if you're not, of course, I'm describing it. So the Ionic 5 has the same three trims, the SE, SEL, and Limited, and the SE Standard range. So this is the lowest trim, Standard range for the 2024 Ionic 5. So this MSRP for that standard range starts at $41,800 and they're advertising $242 per month for 36 months, but due at signing is $3,000, over $3,500. You also get the signing bonus similar to the other option with the Ionic 5, but obviously there's a lot more down required for the Ionic 5. This is similar if you go through each option, there's at least $3,500 due at signing. So the Ionic 6 specifically has this option. So I don't know if it's not necessarily advertised, but this seems to be the exact option that we're seeing on the Ionic 6 webpage. Hurry up, take advantage of this offer. I think this is really cool. Um, and another example of how automakers are able to, even just for a short period of time, offer really competitive pricing and get more of their EVs out on the road, which I think is a great strategy. You know, figure out what you can do to get it more approachable to more people. Don't advertise. It may be crazy, but of course we caught on to this. So hopefully this helps some of you out. As quoted in a lot of research and surveys, like I said at the top of this podcast, it's not surprising why many folks haven't gone electric due to pricing. Um, and price does come into play and it usually ranks like number one nowadays for what is holding people back from going electric, even if they know it's going to be their next car, even if they really want it. And according to the BBC, actually, I was looking at one of their studies about the three big reasons Americans haven't rapidly adopted EVs. This is from November of last year, so not too old. They found that chief among the roadblocks of stopping Americans from adopting EVs into their lifestyle is affordability. Even as price comes down, they wrote, and that the U.S., of course, has our tax incentives, EVs remain much more expensive than their combustion counterparts, which is just a shame. We want more people in electric vehicles. And the interest rates in the U.S. are at a two-decade high, and the price tag for the average American car shopper is, as they say, prohibitive. Of course, we know that's true. They also looked at EV prices over the years, and the prices are going up and not down. Of course, we're excited to see more competitive pricing and more competitive ways to offer leasing deals, more affordable deals that are approachable. Government programs, of course, are in place to help with extra incentives, but overall, we're going to have to see a trend of prices going down with advancements in technology, et cetera, <laughs> to be able to have more EVs on the road as we are aiming to, as regulation is pushing for, as more people want to see due to all the benefits that driving electric have on the environment, local and large scale. In my opinion, not only do leases make it more easy, simpler, curious, attractive for someone who is already interested in owning an EV to be able to integrate one into their life. But if anyone is EV curious, they can have a time-limited deal. And I mean deal in this case, where they can really give it a go, but maybe not feel like there's too much of a commitment. 
making going electric, like I said, just easier and maybe a bit more fun for people if there's not such a big price tag attached. Leases are powerful, clearly, and sometimes they're introduced quietly like this one. So, okay, let me know. Do you think you or someone you know is going to be able to hop on this deal before the end of the month? Are you interested? And if you know someone who is interested, send them this video. All the links that I have referenced here and shown you here will be in the show notes. Go ahead. Thank you, Cars Direct, for covering this and bringing it to our attention. It's very, very cool. Let me know what you all think. I will see you next time on the next episode. Good luck in perhaps your Ionic 6 leasing of the SE or any of the trims. They all seem pretty competitive offerings. I will see you next time when you plug in with us again on the Out of Spec podcast. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.